So greetings, greetings, my people. I am your humble presenter, Zebedi Ejike Korea. Um, today, you will see a different background. This background is called Nigerian Ethnic Hub Forum. You know, we are people, every ethnic in Nigeria should meet to discuss the matters arising in Nigeria. You know, um, I would love our people to visit there, create your account. After creating an account, you go to your email, activate your registration, and come back and log in. Create any discussion is allowed. And if you want uh, me to add more um, 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 topics, I will be able to add the topics so that people will be able to discuss on those matters. But there are already created topics there. Join in, participate, share the website, invite others to join. It's well secured, well encrypted forum. We are big, small, everybody operating, everybody originated or have linked to Nigeria. Our friends of Nigeria should join the forum and uh, bring it back to life do your affairs there, do everything. So today, I will focus on the matters arising in Nigeria in the terms of uh, uh, our brother, um, um, Senator Abaribe. The issue going on with, uh, within Nigeria and the senators is, um, is something that is very, very uh, um, uh, um, something that uh, Nobody can predict, if, if you ask me, no, no, no human being can be able to predict that such a thing will, able, will be able to happen in Nigeria. Um, I will use this um, forum now to talk to my people, Ndibo. Ndibo, you have to talk to your people in Nigeria. In case you were to talk to your people, those things got to show every one of us that uh, this matter is no longer a joking matter. We, the Nigerian, they claim more that uh, NAG democracy. We claim that uh, we we have adopted democracy. But uh, if you ask me, I will, my answer will be simple: No, Nigeria doesn't know the meaning of democracy. No come closer to democracy. Any democratic country, any country that migrated from military rule to civilian rule has thousands of jobs to do. You know, and those jobs was muted when Obasanjo took over Nigerian government as a civilian rule, as a civilian president. You know, um, they could have, by that time, invite the entire part of Nigeria to come together and redraw and reshape the Nigerian constitution to suit the um, ordinary Nigerians that, who are civilians that are not military. Did we do that? Nigeria didn't go closer to those areas. Rather, we rush in to embrace democracy. Um, I will not call those things democracy because men looking at what is happening to all the senators in Nigeria. You know, I do watch um, programs and history is the best teacher. During the time that the president of Turkey, Erdogan, wanted to open a case against um, 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 PKK or the Kurdish um, um, party in Tokai, they are their um, 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 representatives in, in, in upper house, like Senate, House of Rep. Erdogan write a bill that was adopted and passed in Senate. And Senate voted together to withdraw the immunity that is protecting those people, 
Hey, the Turkish parliament has approved a controversial bill lifting the immunity of lawmakers from prosecution. 376 of the 550 member parliament voted for the legislation. The majority reached is enough for making amendments to the constitution without holding a referendum. The motion to allow for prosecution of Turkish lawmakers was proposed by ruling uh, AK party members. Before the government could be able to touch them. But in Nigeria, there is no democracy. There is nothing like rule of law. Whoever that has the opportunity to become the president of the nation will dictate the law that will rule his tenor. That is 100%. He will tell the people how he wants his government to be managed who should talk, who should not, who should participate, and who should not. Ian Agunu now is something that is fact. For DSS to go after a senator of, of the federation, going after a senator of the federation, not state senate, of the federation of Nigeria, arresting a sitting senator <laughs> jail him for some days now take him to court before the battle began the judge I did not order the arrest who ordered the arrest this one that one who is who is who is commanding who who is issuing the arrest warrant? Who is opening the case against any legislator? That is the question we should be asking. When judge of the federation is not even aware that a senator is being arrested, is even in police custody, don't you know that ordinary man on the street is lost? If the law and immunity cannot protect those in power, when I use the word immunity, then all that we are doing, both participating in election, election in Nigeria, is just wash, wash. I am not saying this thing maybe to antagonize anybody. Rather, I'm trying to analyze the the type of democracy that Nigeria is trying to project within the nation. They have been arresting senators. Some of them have been pushed out of vehicle on the motion. Old men. Excuses are being given. Their lives are being threatened. Senators, the lawmakers of the federation. Or the one you know, I am doing this video just to touch around those issues. Nigerians and Nigeria itself should start coming together to iron things out to upgrade themselves. Those laws is no longer. good for today's politics military rule is not gone military is still ruling nigeria because if you say that military is not ruling nigeria the heartbeat of a nation the heartbeat boom, 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 that shows that somebody is alive is military heartbeat it is military heart that is beating that is pumping the blood around Nigeria. It is not democracy, it's not civilians. You may ask me what is that heartbeat? The constitution that is ruling the federation is being drafted by the military regime. The democratic government of Nigeria have not formed and have not formed a council that will draft a new democratic constitution that will rule civilians 
Men seeing how senators are being hijacked and picked and do this, that the only people that has those portion of right is when military is ruling a nation, allowing that nation to run Senate. When the senators want to trespass their jurisdiction, military will touch them to make them to understand here is decree, not constitution, that is ruling the nation. But in Nigeria today, we wear normal clothes, but the decree is ruling the normal people. So, if we want to really switch over to real democracy that will benefit A and B and C, both the senators, the civilians, the legislators, all of, all of Nigeria, we have to start today drafting and forming a democratic nation of Nigeria before things will get out of hand. Nigeria is like time bomb. We could not be able to manage the affairs in the northern part, that's the Boko Haram. But Nigeria is sleepwalking into civil war. Not civil war with the Igbos nor France civil war within itself that will consume that nation that nobody will have the power to rule it again and foreign powers will now pump in both african powers will now fall in and tear nigeria apart we should rescue what we have today you know during the time of uh, During the time of Ojuku, Ojuku saw this thing today coming. He sees every activities that is happening today. That is why he went for his own sovereign state. But it's a pity that Nigerians were sleeping by then, thinking that they are untouchable in that nation thinking that they are more special than others. That is why they unite themselves, fighting for the Biafras to remain in their territory as one Nigeria. Today, that same wrath that Igbos faced in northern part and some part of Yoruba land, before the declaration of Biafra, or before the yeah declaration of Biafra, is now haunting those that helped protect those things. You harbor, you join the the bad side of Nigeria to harm one part of the tribe by that time. Not once, not twice, not third time. They have been harming the Easterners living in their territory. And both Middle Belt Plateau, all of them put their ass together, including Yorubas, to punish <laughs> the um, 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 stubborn child among them, which is the Igbos. And that stubborn child, something made that child to become stubborn. Something triggered that child to start misbehaving. Massacre. Killing of his tribe. Today, all entire northern part of Nigeria are facing the rot of things they started with the, with the Biafras. They started with the eastern part of the nation. The same has men. Boko Haram and now Karen Kato with their assault rifle moving down to Nigeria and the whole Nigerian political elites have seized the entire police that's supposed to be putting uh, protecting the lives and properties of the other Nigerians. Each politician has up to 50 to 60, 70 policemen guiding him who is now guiding the nation. If the entire police that is made to press to maintain law and order in a country 
is now guiding the mini gods of Nigeria. Now, it remains for the people to take care of the affairs themselves. So, I am not telling my people to maybe protect with what, but they should protect themselves. You know, they should protect themselves because if you die, you are gone. Looking at those people that are being killed, murdered, born alive, buried alive, pregnant women, cut off their belly, take out their child and cut off the child. This heartless, not Boko Haram, this is ISIS, caliphate, attitude. The caliphate believers, the caliphate attitude, they are the ones that do such things. And those caliphates are, are the ones that killed the Biafrans during the war. They are now punishing the entire Nigeria. Just imagine. And the president have never ever come out for one single day to condemn it because caliphate originated from Saudi Arabia. And our president is caliphate believer. He's subject of the Saudi Arabia. And he can never condemn them. Because it's their way of life. If you listen to the prince of Saudi Arabia when he visited the United States, he was interviewed and they asked him, why are, why are these caliphates taking the life of people all over the world? And this man made it clear that it was the Britain, the West, that pressurized the Saudi Arabia to spread caliphate all over the world. Now, one question you should ask yourself. They will come on air. They will tell you Russia is evil. They will tell you how Putin is a bad man. They will try to sell to you that you should not have anything to do with Russia. But I'm standing here to tell you that Western countries, I will not mention names directly, but I will use the word Western countries, mean anybody can be what I'm saying are antichrist do you know why russia jumped into syria not only to save the government of assad one thing that pushed putin to authorize that move after the syrian government requested for it the caliphate in syria are massacring the lives of Orthodox Christians in Syria. If you see the video, the heart that we are biting, they will kill somebody, cut out the, somebody who is not dead, they will cut his heart out and bite the heart. That is Orthodox Christians. And the West give them weapon. All European countries crying for terrorists. All of them are the father and mother of terrorists. Don't mess it if, they, if what they created come against them. They are, they are only using those things to terrorize the life of we living in Europe and the Europeans living here that doesn't know what the game their politicians are playing out there. In another man's country, a caliphate terrorist is a freedom fighter. You arm him. Even today, they are training them how to use chemical weapons in Syria training them how to use chemical weapons and these guys will now use through immigration they will enter europe and they will try to manufacture those things that the west train them in syria in europe to harm the europeans the evil that men do always live with them no longer after them where i'm afraid is that this caliphate in nigeria using knife and gun killing the ordinary farmers in nigeria Time shall come, they will start using what they learn in Syria on our people. Who will come for our rescue? Nobody. Nobody. Because all the issues happening in Nigeria, no mainstream media have ever come down to Nigeria to question people in power. To ask them, are you not seeing or can't you manage or don't you have strategy to rule yourself? They doesn't care. They will only wait for you when something happened to them that you will change your Facebook picture 
to their flag to show solidarity. All those being killed in Nigeria, did they show any solidarity to you? Did they care? They no longer care about Christianity. They no longer care. The West doesn't care about Christianity again. The only country that saves Christianity today is Russia. The only country, even though the Vatican City, the Pope, is even pointing hand where they should go and destroy. Vatican City is among the West. Vatican, first of all, worked with Hitler against the entire Europe. It is the Vatican City that smuggled all the Hitler scientists and military out of Europe to Argentina. I am telling you facts. It's open there. It's no secret. They will tell you how holy they are. They are not holy. That's why I, I, I go against when Pope asks the, the, the Okigwezon Reverend Father to, to apologize for what he did. I said, that shall not apologize to nobody. These people are nobody. They are blood suckers organization. They are blood sucking organization. And don't forget that Roman Catholic is also a tool of the colonial masters that was used against us. All the issues happening in Nigeria is the same Western country that are playing their games in our nation. The target is to reduce the population of Christianity because those that has the money to control the world today are the caliphates. Look at what is happening in Yemen. The same thing that happened during the Biafran War that the whole West united themselves against Biafra. All of them have united themselves except Russia to punish that tiny land called Yemen. I don't know, I don't care which religion or what they do, but leave their country alone and govern yourself. Saudi Arabia is not never a democratic nation, nor have, do they have moral right to dictate to any government about democracy. Dethrone your king, become republic, become democratic country before you can dictate for others. Saudi Arabia is dictating more than 70% of affairs going on in Nigeria. Take it or you leave it. I would love this discussion to continue on this website, www.nigerianhub.com. Go there, register. Don't go there and look, uh, people know they. If you register, somebody don't they. If another person register, somebody don't enter. Gradually, gradually, we will grow. And we will be discussing matters arising in Nigeria. And this website, very soon, if people start patronizing, start discussing on this website, I will now expand it so that you can share videos, you can share links, you can add more other functions, um, other things to the page. But first of all, let us start discussing. If 10 or 15 people start discussing, then I will start upgrading it to the higher level. Because I will not be investing on in something that people have not started using. I would love you to start using it, master it, so that when new functions come in, you will say, oh, now I can be able to share videos, now I can be able to upload videos, pictures, and other things. So, my people, it is a pity that Yoruba is allowing such a thing to happen. Because I will blame Yorubas. Because when Yorubas pull the plug of um, um, alliance with Hausas and come for the interests of Nigeria then we will be able to reform our nation where every life will be saved where every life will, will have value where we will value ourselves so that Oyibo that calls us animals, chimpanzees, idiots, people without brain, the darkest um, 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 continent in, in the world we will show them different side of us that we are not animals we are human but if they are seeing how we are eating ourselves burning ourselves alive killing our people it is like nam de kano is a prophet nigeria is making nam de kano the prophet of the modern day 2018 god bless you my people remember bless and uh, 
be part of the making join the nigerian ethnic hub forum discussion forum let us start discussing on that place the site is perfect working and everything be part of it and god bless you remember bless please subscribe to my youtube channel it's very very important subscribe to the channel like it share if you have not subscribed but you do watch because see i see that the population that watch is more than people have subscribed the more you subscribe and how do you subscribe if you look that red button there is red button on that facebook where you are watching you will see mirror african tv see red button that says subscription it doesn't cost money it's free it's only for you to get notification when i have a new video and any activities going on this page just click subscription and you are subscribed the more you subscribe because facebook is now pushing the video of those that have little subscription back and the ones that are bigger up and we want ourselves to be at the forefront because we are discussing the matters arising from nigeria god bless you and remember bless we we'll see us maybe by tomorrow bye bye for now